Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. It's December 8th of 2022. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about the extra prom that I'm doing today. Uh, as usual, I'm doing extra prom so that I can maybe make a dent in this, whatever it is. Um, yeah, hit, uh, let's see. It may be a premium prom, and if it is, then my apologies. Um, today, I'm going to do a medium, um, just to kind of, you know, I think that's good enough. Hit on pick one. So many SQL statements, and uh, I don't know. I need to maybe just spend a day to like to finish all the SQL so I don't stop. They stop asking me about them. Anyway, okay. So today's problem is and is fifteen seventy dot product of two sparse vectors. Okay, so what's the sparse vector? Um, a sparse vector, I assume, is just a vector that has a lot of zeros, so you don't have to um, consider them. But. Hmm. But yeah, um, I guess so. But they're giving. I, I'm, the, the reason why I'm pausing is because basically, usually they give it. Okay, so I guess hmm, it, it's a little bit awkward just because. Um, I guess they give you an array that is not a sparse vector, and then you want to convert it into a sparse vector and then do the dot product, which is kind of a little bit awkward only because. Um, if you're given this, then you're already kind of messed up anyway, right? Like, um, it's already not that sparse. I mean, I guess you can compress in the future, but but, it, um, but in theory, I guess, you wanted to do it to be, you know. But the idea, uh, uh, the, they don't really explain this way well the, um, here in the problem, So, I, but I can do a little bit better just off my head. A uh, sparse vector is basically, you know, at least in in you know physics or whatever it is uh in, in maths um a vector that has mostly zeros right and the, the the part about mostly zeros is that well if it's mostly zeros then you don't have to store the zeros you just assume that anything not existing is uh in a in a, in a given dimension is zero um and because of that there are things that you have to be careful with right with that product um i i believed that product is just a the sum of the uh, component um, product, right? Um, so yeah, so you just have to be a little bit careful about it and kind of just, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. It's a little bit awkward, uh, but yeah, you just have to be a little bit careful because you don't want to, let's say, I mean, in this case, the N isn't that big, but but let's say you, and you, and you know, uh, um, a dot product is actually pretty, cheap anyway relatively but even then right if you have t 10 to the fifth um, number of dimensions in the vector and maybe only like five of them are actual numbers well then you're doing a lot of wasted cycles so then the idea here is um, doing things in a way that is you know uh, I would say output sensitive to the size of actual uh, usage or like you know the um, actual size of the vector that's being used so okay um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, really. And yeah, I mean, I, I think that's it. I mean, I, I think the way that I'm going to write it, and this is just, um, this is, I don't think this is the quite the way that I want to do it. Um, so the thing with these design problems is that you, you, you know, you're given the specs and you think about what you're optimizing for. And in this case, with the optimizing for that product. But for example, you want to also optimize for cross product or something, you know, that's a different story. And of course, if you're an engineer, um, like working in a real project, some of it is that, okay, today we want to work on that product and we want to ship the product. We want to ship something such that it supports that product. But we know that, for example, maybe next half or next week or whatever it is, we want to support another function. Well, that really changes you know the scope of what you want to do with the um with the object and api and really specific to how you want to optimize it right and and thinking about um you know and and all that caveat is to say that if this is all we need to ever support forever then we can definitely write something in a different way than if we you know need need to kind of improve on the code right so code quality in that sense is only as good as your product recommend uh, like specs and 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 um and, and future planning right i mean and yeah like what is a um i guess another way of phrasing it is that 
you know, you don't want to plan out and it because it, it it takes both time, you know, in the mental planning phase and also you know good experience and code to write code in a way that allows you to be adaptable in the future and, and versatile and, and flexible and so forth. Um, and it's not always necessary that you need to, even though, you know, with experience, maybe some of that cost is low enough that you might as well put it in, say, but uh, even then, I, I don't know, I don't know if every, you need it every time, right? Uh, and I think all this caveat is to say that I'm going to write some really dubious code right now. So if you, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, basically. So I'm going to write some dubious code right now so um, to support that product way efficiently. But um, but yeah, that, that that is not meant to be like, you know, quote unquote, a base to build all sparse vectors or whatever. It's just that it is a dot product sparse vector that works maybe well. So I'll, I'll go over what I mean in a second. But yeah, but we have a... Uh, uh, let's just go and look up, right? And then for index x in enumerate nums, we just do self dot lookup uh, of x is equal to index way. Right? So then basically we c convert the way into an index. And of course, uh, it it this is only more efficient if this is actually sparse because of course you're also storing the index etc. Right? Ho hopefully that makes sense. And then here, um, so we have total is equal to zero. And then for I don't know key in self dot lookup right. Um, total we uh, solve that lookup of key times rec dot lookup of key, right? Um, and of course this could be zero. Of course, I think maybe I should do a set default or something like this. Um, or maybe even just do if key is in rec dot lookup, right? Because the assumption here is that if it's not if it's not in here, it's zero. So then you know it doesn't change anything. And also if there's a key that's in here. But not in here, it also is zero because it doesn't exist. So we don't, uh, and for this reason, then you can make sure that everything is linear unless I misunderstood the problem. Um, hmm. How did that happen? Hmm. I mean, I am, why am I opening 12? Dong, dong, dong. Did I miss, did I have a typo somewhere? How did I mess this up? <laughs> I have I wrote like five lines of code and I, I type. I think I just it's just so I think I'm so used to indexing it the other way because this way of indexing doesn't usually make sense that I wow didn't even see it. Uh, but yeah, okay. As you can see, it looks okay and yeah. Uh oh, did I have a mistake? Is it too slow? <laughs> How is it that slow? Hmm. Dong, dong, dong. Huh, a little bit surprised by me, I guess, to look up. Nah. Uh, and maybe I could write it the other way, uh, right? Of, um, uh, eh. A is equal to cell, B is equal to rack, right? Um, if length of self dot lookup is greater than uh, length of b dot lookup, then we just swap them. Uh. Is that faster? Hmm. I am just curious for science now. Huh. Why is it that slow? It's just keys look up. Hmm. Maybe I'll cheat or uh, not cheat, just look at some solutions. I'm curious though. Hmm. Um hmm. Huh. Don't know why it's so slow. I mean, it is still linear time, linear space, right? So yeah, um, and basically this is only going to run for for each key. So 
it should be okay. Um, I guess eh, we could do a set in the section first or something, but I, I don't know. Uh, now I'm trying to figure out why, why this is so slow, to be honest. Or like, this is slower than I expected, really. Um, eh, I mean, if I do a set in the section, it's still... I don't know. That, that's so weird. But yeah, um, what if one of the vectors is sparse, then you just kind of do what I did here and, and use the sparse one because you don't need to do look up on the other one, right? But I am wondering why this is so slow. I mean, did I do something really weird? I mean, I knew that there was a two-pointer one, but is it fa is that the only difference? Hmm. I guess so. Huh. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess the, I mean, I, I I guess I should have set the two pointers one uh, earlier, but but yeah, basically you can just kind of also store it not in a dictionary, but uh, but in just an array. And then when you do a dot product, you just kind of do the two pointers to make sure that you know when they match up, um, then you'd add it to the total or something like this. I didn't realize that that would be that much faster, or at least not. I mean, I knew that it would be faster, to, but I didn't know it would be like going from you know like three times slower. Eh, maybe I should have guessed. Um, but anyway, but still the overall complex, the overall complexity um, is going to be the same, assuming that your, um, uh, assuming that um, your your lookup table is going to perform an O of one uh, uh, read, right, like a regular hash table or something. Um, which you know, but anyway, um, that's all I have for this one for today. Let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.